Welcome back to Generates. Is this your second part? Did you watch the reveal of the cards I got from the Bowman University breaks that I got into? If not, there's a card, check it out. All right, baseball. Got into a break, as I said in the previous video. This was with my guy Cross Shadow. He breaks on Facebook. He's in our Discord. I've mentioned him a few times before. I'll show his information. What I did was I ended up getting five teams. I got Indians, Reds, White Sox, A's, and Rockies for $150. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and this stuff here I haven't even opened. So we're going to see what I got. You can tell me if it's worth it, what you'd rather do if you're into breaks or not. What he did was he did one Super Jumbo of 2022 draft, one Jumbo of 2022 draft. He had Bowman Chrome Sapphire, and he had two 2023 Series 1 Jumbo boxes. So $150 for that. Let's see how we did. And I think you know from breaks for the most part, you're never going to hit your EV or see any kind of ROI long term, right? It's like if you go to the casino over and over and over again, eventually you're gonna be in the hole. I think that's kind of the fun of it all. It's that lottery ticket. It's the degeneracy of it all. Throwing some money out there if you have the money to spare. Don't be a gambler. You know they've got the hotline. Call it if you need to and tell them you've got a problem with sports cards. I'm sure they'll be willing to listen as well. You tell them it's an addiction. It's a problem. But if you got some money and maybe you want to try for that lottery ticket, take a look at the product. See if there's potential. And this is something I talked about before. It's potential for something big. Within Sapphire, there's always a potential to hit something big. With Bowman Draft as well, there's potential if you hit a huge auto, depending on which player you buy, of course. In that particular break, the jumbo of draft was pretty decent. The super jumbo, though, hit five autos, all pitchers, including three of the same player, Henry Williams of the Padres. Three autos of the same player in one box. Now, granted, he hit two color, but still, five pitcher autos. All five of your autos out of that super jumbo were pitchers. That's a kick in the dick, right? Now we'll get onto this stuff real quick. Just let me show you. I don't have the series one. There was a stack of some base and like lower end rookies. This is all the stuff that came out of the 2022 Bowen product. This is all just non first stuff here. There was a stack probably about this high of tops series one cards as well. They don't make the cut. They don't get on camera. You had some Quan, some Nolan Jones, Langoliers, Gonzalez, Sosa, and Oh, and this one, it looks like he threw in for free. <laughs> Those are from the teams I had, of course. You know I've had good things to say about Sosa. And I like Gonzalez as well. Firsts, paper out of Bowman. These were all pitchers here. Count on these was about two to three. Some of them would have four. There's one in here I like. Show you here. Ah, oh, here it is. Look at Handshake. <laughs> That's what they got of him. His first Bowman, a Handshake. You know how I gotta point these things out. Your first card ever, they got you shaking someone's hand. They couldn't get you in action, throwing a pitch. First hitters, same thing. Counts about two, three, four for most of these guys. Some Jordan Beck there. Sprinkle. Clark Elliott, Chase DeLauder, Sal Stewart, Joe Lampy. I don't know how he has these organized, so we're just going to go ahead and open these up together and see what we've got. These are all top loaded here. Oh, and additionally, things you can get when you break with your buddies. I asked him to throw in some extra junk base cards if he had any. I give those away to kids of guys on my team. Like I talked about in my previous video, I should be out getting ready for a baseball game today, but uh, Kyle Farmer. It's a black to 72. Got a Tristan McKenzie foil. Definitely like McKenzie as a pitcher. I've got a lot of his rookies, first Bowmans and everything. Got a Jackie Robinson green. You believe that? To four nine, never. I always talk about Jackie whenever he comes up. Jackie to 499. This card has to be, I mean, it's Jackie, it's Jackie Robinson. That card has to be worth $10,000, I think. The break was paid for many times over. Zach Maxwell. It's an auto I actually got out of 199. It's a Victor Acosta speckle. 
Got a Max Muncy purple paper, numbers hard to see there, to 250. Now keep in mind, this is $150 here. So again, you don't go into breaks expecting to make your money, but there's always that hope that you hit something big. And in that particular break, he ended up, aside from the five pitcher autos, he ended up hitting a gold Bobby Witt variation that he sold the particular spot to a buddy of his for $45. Sometimes that's how it works out. You pay 45 bucks for the Royal spot, give him the Royal spot for all this. But in that particular break, he also hit a Mikey Romero Redemption Red Wave to five. Okay, so these are all non-firsts here. Chrome, appreciate him sleeving these up. I asked him to sleeve them up for me. He ended up selling that for $1,600 plus. Oh, no, we got a couple firsts in here. Ended up selling it for $1,600 plus a $200 Justin Jefferson card. So $1,800 in total value. Not too bad. Oh, we're going back to the non-firsts. Next stack here. Looks like we got some refractors. Aces, Vera and Montgomery. Ooh, wow. Look at the centering on that. And then look at that. Yikes. A Hendrick refractor. Ellie, Zach Veen, and a Jordan Beck refractor. Nice. These weren't top loaded here, so I assume these are going to be chrome firsts and non firsts. Get out of here with all these pictures. Let's buzz through these real quick. It's a Chase the Lauder. Looks like there's something blue coming up. Costa. Oh, Jose Ramirez out of the. Chrome Sapphire Aces, Shane Bieber. Then we got some more Chrome first. So we got a Boyd Refractor. Wretched centering on that. Something I noticed far too often with the Bowman Chrome and Bowman Draft this particular year. Hopefully they get their stuff together and fix their QC because Bowman 2023 is said to be coming out in a couple months. May is what I heard. Oh, okay, let's get into our Sapphire here. We got Colos. Got a foil of Dylan Cease. Awesome pitcher. Got a gold Chris Bryant. That's the foil unnumbered. Seth Brown to Fitty. Got a Cal Quantrill to 299. Got a Huggins Refractor and a Sean Murphy gold foil. Oh, you didn't know. All right, last pack. Got Cabrera here on the front. So again, 150 for all of this stuff. Cox. That's massive. Got a Hughes refractor. So you see the Hughes is pretty well centered. Let's compare it to the Cox. Massive. Looks like that Cox is a little crooked. Always a problem when that happens. Another blackjack with Montgomery and Vera. Noel Refractor, Hendrick, and a Justin Campbell Chase the Lauder. So that is your $150. That is degeneracy at its max. <laughs> now, obviously, I'm not going to sit here and try to justify buying into breaks. It's, as I said, over the long term, probably a losing proposition for most people, just like playing roulette or blackjack. I think that's kind of how I see it and I'm having a heart-to-heart -heart with the camera right now. <laughs> it's part of the hobby, excitement, can be fun, risk. You get that nervous feeling in your stomach. Like that first time you leaned in in junior high, try to kiss that girl you had a crush on. That, that Those little butterflies flying around. Ooh, the tingles, the fifis. You get the fifis. Hoping for something big, right? The gentleman who got the Royal spot for $45 and hit that gold Bobby Witt variation. Bobby Witt Jr. My understanding, comps hard to tell because it's such a limited card and we're just looking at raw versus graded, but probably at the time, a $1,000 plus card. So there's always that potential. Oftentimes there's that one person in the whole break who makes out well, maybe hits a bunch of autos out of his spot. But then most of the time you're looking at a situation where most of the rest of the people in the break are going to end up with a situation like this where they spend $150 and what would you say is the value here of this stuff if I took the time to sell it all off or 
even if one of the Chrome cards, Jordan Beck, for instance, turned out to 10, Chase the Lauder or somebody like that, is there really even any value in it with grading fees at $19? Nothing here worth grading is what I'm getting at. Now that, of course, isn't on the breaker. You have to consider the product that you're looking at, the teams, you have to do your research, know what you should be paying and your expected value. But most of the time, I would say when you're getting into a break, I feel like for the excitement, which is the thing about casinos, that's how the casino sold, right? The excitement, the fun, the thrill of it all. I lost all my money, but I went there for fun and I had fun, damn it. Joey, that's you. But that's the thing about the break is just the understanding that most of the time you're probably going to come home with cards that are worth half the value of what you paid. Yeah. Maybe a third. Yeah. I would say in this situation, maybe a third. Yeah. What do you think? Maybe there's 50 bucks worth of cards here if I took the time to sell everything off. We're just talking about singles. 50 bucks, maybe? So as I said, it's not something that you want to get into long-term as an investment strategy. <laughs> and when you break with one of your boys, you know you don't have to worry about anything. The trust factor isn't an issue. And, and you probably are going to feel a little bit better about it, even if you take the L, than just some random person on the internet that you don't know who they are, don't know what they look like, never will meet them. <laughs> all right, so that's all I got for this part. First part of the video, you saw Bowman University. This part, you saw a bunch of baseball. Probably done with doing breaks for a little bit. Maybe when that new Bowman product comes out, maybe I'll jump into some breaks. But that's all I got for now. So let me know your thoughts about breaking. Do you do it? I know most of you whose channels I watch, I can't say that I've ever seen a video of you having bought into a break. <laughs> So I already think I know what I'm going to get in terms of answers. Overall, though, I still feel good about everything. 150 bucks. Where to go? Who knows? Where was that money? Oh, no. Where'd that money come from? Don't know. Money gone. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Be well. I'm a massive. Ass man. Fuck it!